Okay, friends, today we're going to work on one digit by three digit multiplication. Who's ready? Go ahead and grab your abacus, grab your braille paper and a brailler because we're going to braille these out. Okay, I hope you pick those up. When there's a pause, you should probably hit pause and then go ahead and grab your material. Anyway, so you have it ready. You have your braille paper. Your abacus is in front of you as well as your brailler. So I want you to braille out for me on this math problem. So go ahead and write number one, period. And then I want you to braille out 216 times two. And then don't forget your equals. See if you can solve it on your own first before looking and continuing watching my video, okay? So go ahead and hit pause. Okay, so I'm going to start by setting up my math problem. On the left-hand side, I'm going to set 200. So there's a two bead, two beads on that hundreds. And then I'm going to set a one bead on my tenths. And then six beads on my, fir or my ones column. So I have 216 and then I should always have my rubber bands when we're multiplying and when we have decimals or dividing we need rubber bands. So for this occasion I have one, I have two rubber bands. I don't need two but I can just use one if I want to but I chose to have two just for my sake. And on the other side I want you to set two because we're multiplying by two. So 216 times two. So what I want you to do is make sure the rest of your abacus is cleared on the right-hand side, okay? And here we go. <clears throat> We're going to start by saying, what is 2 times 2? So we're grabbing the 2 bead on that right-hand side by the rubber band, and then we're multiplying it by 2, or we say 200, okay? So 2 times 2 is 4, but... Because it's 200, don't forget the two zeros, because 200 is usually 200, zero, zero, right? So now we need to remember to use, or don't forget to add those zeros. So 2 times 2 is 4. Because it has two zeros, we need to add two zeros. So on my right hand side, I'm going to say 2 times 2 is 4, so that means it's 400. So on my right hand side, I wrote, or I made sure to set 400 and on my left hand side I'm done multiplying by 200 so I clear that and now I say 2 times 1 is 2 right or we can say 2 times 10 okay so 2 times 1 is 2 but don't forget to add that 0 so if we add a 0 to 2 it makes it 20 so on the right hand side Go ahead and set 20 directly. And now on the left hand side, because we're done multiplying by 10, we clear that. And now we have just the one area available, right? Or left over. So now we go 2 times 6 is. Yes, it's 12. So we just set that directly 10, 11, 12 on my right hand side. What was your answer? Okay, my answer was 432. I hope you got that. Okay, you ready for another one? If you did not um, get the answer I got, go ahead and pause and rewind the video and go through the steps one more time for me, okay? But if you did get it, let's keep going. Okay. Here we go. Your next math problem is 652 times 3. Go ahead and braille that out. Don't forget your equal sign. Hit pause and try to solve it on your own. Okay, so on my left hand side, I have set 652. And then I have a rubber band, and then there's a blank bead, or you can set your um, three there. And then you're gonna set um, three, because that's what we're multiplying it with. Okay, you ready? So now we say, what is three times six? 
Or we can say, what is three times 600? Do you remember three times six? It is, it is 18, 18. So don't forget those two zeros. If you can do that in your head, you will probably say, oh, Miss Annabelle, it's 1,800. If you can't remember that big number, it's okay. Just don't forget we have to add two zeros. So we can say on our right-hand side, we can say zero, zero, and then hold your finger there on the tens, and then 18, set 18. So there's one, and then there's eight. Or we can say 1,800 is what we have. And because we've set that up already, so three times six is 18, we clear that because we're done. And now we move on and we say, what's three times five? Three times five is 15, that's right. Or it's three times 50, so don't forget your zero. So it's 150 because it's zero and then 15, so that makes it 150. 50 on the right hand side we're going to do 150 go ahead and clear on the left hand side your five 50 bead because we're done multiplying with 50 and now we move on and say what's three times two three times two is yes it's six so we can set that directly so go ahead and move to the right hand side and just set six for me and then on the left hand side, we just clear that because we're done multiplying. So my answer, let's see if we match, is 1,956. What is your answer? Okay, so that was just an example of two of the math problems you're gonna be working on with today. Um, I made sure to make um, a little square on the ones I want you to focus on for this lesson. So there should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven that you will solve for today. Anyway, have a good one. I will um, send you this video shortly. Have fun with your abacus. Have fun with math. I know you love it and enjoy it and we'll see you guys soon. Have a good one.